as you might guess from his fellow countrymen he is obviously going to be the favorite in this 12 round bout against Richard Green let's find out more about these two fighters and we go to our ring announcer Jean-Paul Chartrand avec les pieds de toute l'histoire du kickboxing and in the blue corner from Ottawa Canada at 171.1 pounds he is known throughout the world as the hardest punching and kicking athlete the sport has ever known Mesdames et messieurs, de retour à Montréal, après une absence de presque deux ans, le champion mondial des poids moyens. Ladies and gentlemen, back in Montreal, after almost a two-year absence, the middleweight champion of the world, Jean-Yves Thériault. Gretzky is to the National Hockey League. He is the Iceman. Dario executes his craft with cool, calm, expressionless precision, and he does it better than anyone alive. His career record of 53 wins and 49 knockouts speaks of his efficiency as a fighting machine. He won the title in 1980, and no one's been able to slow him down since. Even the long-awaited challenge of Bob Thunder Thurman at Karate Mania ended abruptly when one explosive Terrio uppercut closed Thurman's eye on contact. Dario and Thurman meet again in February, but the challenge of Richard Green is on the champion's mind now. Well, Richard Green is definitely on my mind right now. Uh, he's been waiting for a shot for a long time, a shot at the world title, and uh, he's got some punching power, as his record can show. Um, I'm going to be as nice as possible to him uh, outside the ring, but when the time comes to get down to business, uh, there's no more Mr. Nice Guy. I think it... Uh, I'm going to try and make his, his stay in the ring as short as possible. Richard Green, who has twice lost controversial decisions to Bob Thurman, is confident that his visit to Canada will be a profitable one. His training for this bout has been more intense than for any match he's ever fought. Fight. There's a close look at the champion. From Ottawa, Ontario, Canada, jean Ontario. Six years he's held the middleweight crown. Now we're going to see if he can hold on to it tonight. And if he does, can he win by his 50th knockout of his brilliant career. Richard Green's his opponent. This one is scheduled for 12 rounds. Our main event here on ESPN in this American kickboxing series, the World Middleweight Championship, about to begin. Brad Nessler, Truman Irving, and Joe Corley with you at ringside. We're at the Paul Sauvé Arena here in Montreal. And Richard Green means all business. And so does Johnny Terrio. A good look at both in their corners. You can see the concentration on their faces. Okay. 12 rounds or less, and here we go. We're underway. Richard Green on your right. jean Terrio, the champion, in the black pants, now facing you. And he comes out with a strong left hand and those straight front kicks that are so effective and have been throughout his career, Truman. Yes, he is. Richard Green told us that earlier that he would not be fighting in a straight line. He is fighting in a straight line. If he continues on a straight line, the lights could go out. He said he'd work from angles, and so far, the only angle is straight towards Jean-Yves Terrio, and that's not a very safe place to be. At least that's what most of Jean-Yves' opponents would tell you. Green from Tulsa, Oklahoma, 25 years old. The champion is 31. Green is throwing front leg and rear leg front kicks, which are effective, and I think will be effective against Jean-Yves Terrio, but he must throw them with much more power than what he's doing now. A good right hand by jean yves Terrio, the champion. Uppercut that Mr. Green tried to counter with a combination. Johnny, Johnny told us earlier today that he would not go out there trying to get a knockout, but if it came, it would. Terrio is loaded up on the power here in the early going. Green has weathered it pretty well. Dale Cook said that Green was going to use the left jab and use his hands effectively, and that he definitely was not here just to survive. Look at the Terrio power. Overhand right by Terrio, and then the uppercut. And you could see the head of Green snap back in both occasions. Green also threw an overhand right just then. He said that he would use the overhand right because he thought it would be effective against Terrio. Less than a half minute to go here in round one. Scheduled for 12. Johnny Terrio backs Green up against the ropes. Now they're back to center ring. 15 seconds and counting down to the end of round one. And Johnny Terrio, the fighting machine. I believe Johnny Terrio hurt Green with that last right. Round two. Truman, Johnny Terrio, the winner of round one. What do you think? I think I would give the round to him by a slight margin. 
Terrio with a big overhand right. Didn't get all of Green, but he comes back with a good combination that does. And Green comes back with a combination of his own. They're both picking up the speed right now. I haven't seen a whole lot of people weather those kinds of combinations that Terrio just hit him with, with the exception of Bob Thurman. Thurman caught a number of those before uh, his eye closed and air bound. Boy, three strong rights and some body shots and an uppercut for good measure. He's throwing everything at Richard Green right now. Well, I think he caught Richard Green's attention on that, uh, that three-shot flurry. Green backed up to the rope and showed me that he was a little bit hurt. Terrio blocked both of those punches with the elbows. Comes right back on the offense. Richard Green is showing us very little movement, which makes him a very big and stationary target for Terrio. Down even the spinning back kick that only comes up on the side of Green. There's a big overhand right. Green's in trouble, and down he goes. That overhand right is the one that started Green on his way to the canvas. And now the count. He beats the count. Robert Panetton asks him if he wants to continue, and he says yes. And again, Green walks straight in and shows little movement, very little movement. So Richard Green's already been down in round two, and it looks like he very well may go again. Jolly Terry on the attack. Terrio throws everything so hard, so powerfully, you just cannot prepare for that kind of power. Everything from the front leg front kick to the jab of Terrio lands like a, most, uh, most fighters' right hands land. Coming down to the end of round two, it looks like Green's going to make it, but he's wobbly in the corner. He almost went down again. Referee's going to have to help him back to this corner. And this one could be over in a hurry if Terrio comes out quickly in round three. Let's right? take a look from okay. round two at some of the action, and it was all in Johnny Terrio's favor. As we look at the big miss by Green, Terrio lands with a series of punches. That and right hand, the one that got him ducking in the wrong direction and then Terry will follow with a left that finish it. I think this was all brought about because of the lack of movement again by Richard Green. He was a stationary target. A few years ago I saw Green stop in a fight against Ray McCallum go, who didn't put on nearly the kind of pressure go, that Terry puts on. It's going to be interesting to see let's go, let's how much let's heart go. Green will have in this round. He's going to have to really dig down because Terry go, is after here. knockout number 50. There's no doubt in my mind. And round three begins, and let's see if Johnny Terrio goes in for the kill. He has won 49 of his 53 fights by knockout. Number 50 could be Richard Green if Richard can't find himself and somehow be able to ward off the champion. Richard Green just threw a left-right combination that was very effective. It backed Terrio up for just a second. That round kick slowed Terrio only momentarily. There's a big lead left. A jab that almost knocked Green down. I think you see some of the fight going out of Richard Green at this point. Green is definitely hurt right now. But he just landed a powerful right hand of his own. One more Terrio combination and Green might be on the canvas again. Let's go. Warning to keep the kicks up to both fighters. Richard Green is not throwing the front leg kicks that he said he would throw in, in the preliminary uh, interviews. He is also not throwing that rear leg kick with any power, which is what he needs to do in order to back Johnny Terrio off of him. Terrio just connected with another uppercut, but Green's fighting back. Game competitor trying to hang in with a world champion. But Terrio backs Green up near his own corner and goes back to work. Terrio with a couple of front kicks, just as a measurement device, it almost seems. You see Terrio feigning Richard Green, and I think he's getting ready to unload on an uppercut and a right hand. He's feigning him, trying to get him to go down. Terrio, at the waist. He's used that one technique a lot tonight. He goes in like he's going to throw the front kick, comes with the right hand on top of it. There's the uppercut. Just grazed the chin, however, of Green, and Green may weather round three as well. I think at one point, like he might not make it. I think that Richard Green gets through this round. Uh, he'll be stronger in the third round because it's going to bring back a little bit of his confidence. End of round three. There's that stiff left hand by Terrio. 
The question we asked at the beginning of the round was what would Richard Green do heart-wise? So far, he has dug down Truman. He has stayed in this fight. He hasn't considered quitting yet. And as we said earlier, everything that Terrio throws is powerful. A jab just snaps his head back like a vicious right hand would have. Okay, kid. You're ready. Okay, keep it up. Let's hold it back. Wait, wait. Dale Cook and his assistants in Richard Green's corner trying to somehow pump up the Dragon, who heads into round four against the world middleweight champion, who's looking to keep that title and has been very, very impressive through three rounds. And there's a left hand, and Green goes down again. And if he can't make it to his feet, that'll be number 50 for Johnny Terrio on the knockout list. Green working to his feet. Okay, you want to go on? Okay, let's go. At the beginning of that round, we saw a left jab by Green, which is what he told us he would do also. Uh, he's not throwing any jabs. He's not doing anything to keep John Eve off. He's got to start to move away, or Terrio's just going to rip him up. There's the uppercut. Green's been down twice. Make it three times. The referee sends Terrio to the neutral corner. This Dale one may be over. It Dale is Cook. all over. Dale Cook stopped the fight from the corner. Career knockout number 50 for the world middleweight champion, Johnny his 54th win, his 50th knockout, quite a milestone and quite a finish to that one. Let's take a look at what went on in the fourth and final round. Pick it up, Truman. Again, you see Johnny Terrio coming in again with another outstanding performance. His left hand, his right hand, he's just too powerful for anybody in this middleweight division. And from a different angle, we see it again. The uppercut. Green won't want to see that replay too many times. And though he made it to his feet, he was knocked out again. And Johnny Terrio, the winner again.